How's it going everyone and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mike Stark. And on today's video, I've got a really cool title to show to all of you. This was my favorite movie that I newly discovered in the year of 2022. I hadn't watched this film ever, watched it for the first time, heard about it while I was studying film, and that movie is a John Cassavetes film directed and written by John Cassavetes. Rest in peace, John Cassavetes, the pioneer of great filmmaking, Greek-American, makes me proud to be a Greek, and that film is The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. The Blu-ray and DVD combo by BFI British Film Institute comes with both the uh, 134 minute version, which is the director's cut, and the 109 minute, which is the original cut, as I understand it. I could be wrong, but they're two different cuts. Um, and this is the back, comes with special features. I'll show you um, the inside when we unbox it, but I want to first talk about this film as a whole, give you my audio and visuals rating, and then tell you the synopsis about it, uh, of this movie. So yes, yes, yes. Uh, I've seen a couple of John Cassavetes films, uh, but yeah, John Cassavetes, if you don't know, he was a actor and director based out of New York, I'm pretty sure. Greek-American, uh, he starred in Rosemary's Baby, as the husband of uh, Rosemary Woodhouse. His name was Guy Woodhouse in that film. But yeah, this is the dual format edition. Really, really great film. And I'm happy to have this. I will buy the box set uh, by Criterion, but I can't afford it right now because it's well over $100 and I only pay $22 for this uh, from eBay. So yeah, The Killing of a Chinese Book is so. Audios and visuals first. The audios and visuals get a 9 out of 10. It's the best it's ever looked because if you've seen this movie, it's a 70s film, very, very raw, gritty film. It's not supposed to look clean. And that's Cassavetti's whole genre of filmmaking, the whole style that, he, that he's got. It's stripped down, it's raw, it's gritty, not too much music, special effects. It's just, I guess, as you would call it, guerrilla filmmaking. In its, in its finest. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good for an older film. And packaging wise, for this release, really, really, I like the packaging. I like all the goodies it comes with. So yeah, packaging, 10 out of 10. Looks great. Uh, I can't really compare it with the Criterion one, but when I get the Criterion release, I will definitely show you that. Uh, but yeah, so overall, Great movie, great release by BFI. This stars Ben Gazzaro, Timothy Agolia Carey, and Seymour Castle. It's from 1976, and the music by Bo Harwood, just amazing, phenomenal, original soundtrack uh, by Bo Harwood and John Cassavetes. Uh, in particular, the one song that they did, which I really liked, really, really love this song, um, uh, rainy Fields of Magic, the scene, I'll put it on screen now, the scene where uh, John Cassavetes, uh, he directs his actor to, uh, which is Ben Gazzaro. Ben Gazzaro is walking just ominously into the strip club. It's all dead, no one's there, and it's just Ben Gazzaro and a stripper that, that is auditioning to uh, work at the Crazy Horse West Strip Club on the LA Sunset Strip. And it's just, watch it. Anyways, but yeah, this film got a solid 79% uh, of Rotten Tomatoes, so it's a great film. Couldn't really find the budget versus the gross of this movie because it's an older film. And a lot of Cassavetes films were pulled from the cinemas. In particular, this one, it only got released in the cinemas for about seven or eight days or something like that, I was reading. So it didn't really have the biggest um, release as other films do because he's sort of an independent filmmaker, but yeah, a widely uh, well-known, just cult filmmaker that everyone now looks up to. But anyways, let's get into the synopsis of this movie because it's going on five minutes now. So the story follows Ben Gazzaro's character. 
P owns a strip club in LA on the Sunset Strip uh, called the Crazy Horse West. And he has all these colorful characters coming in and out of his uh, strip club. Anyways, he gets involved with the wrong people and he can't pay back this debt because he borrows money from these loan sharks. And they tell him, all right, you wanna pay back this debt and you can't. So what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer you this once in a lifetime opportunity. You, we want this Chinese book you killed. Will you do it for us? He's kind of ifing and budding and then he says, we'll do it. And the lady doesn't wanna do it. It's too late, the, the mob wants him to do it. He doesn't know what he's gonna do, you know, because they're gonna kill him. So he just then doesn't know what he's gonna do. He just, He's overshadowed by this dark cloud of uh, misery and, you know, just doesn't know what to do. He's continuing his day-to-day, -day, or I should say night-to-night, -night, uh, lifestyle of owning a strip club. And from there, it shows him and it shows the whole ordeal go down of him taking out a hit on this Chinese bookie. He catches his bus, he goes there. It's very stealthy. He hides in the bushes. He gets into the house. He breaks in there. And then he finds the bookie, the Chinese bookie, uh, in this pool. And it, the way it's done, you don't see this guy kill the bookie. But the way it's done, Cassavetes had a really unique way of filmmaking, which makes it more surreal and real for that matter. But I really love this film. Anyways. Check it out. I'm going to uh, leave the synopsis there, but let's get into the unboxing and then we'll do the outro. Let's go. All right, let's do this. The Killing of a Chinese Bookie, dual format edition by BFI, comes with the Blu-ray and the DVD. This is one of the best raw, gritty, stripped-down films you'll ever see by none other than the famous Greek-American director, John Cassavetes. And this is what makes me proud to be a Greek. That's the back spine now let's open this up okay two seconds all right boom the front looks like the back Let's open this up. Comes with a booklet. With uh, some of the behind the scenes stuff. The making of Killing of a Chinese Bookie. Now this film, I first heard about this when I was in film school. I was in the subject of film aesthetics and rest in peace, Billy Marshall Stone King. My film aesthetics teacher told me about, well, told the class about this film. I think I overheard him talking about it and he said this is better than The Godfather in his opinion. Uh, it's up there with The Godfather. Is it better? I wouldn't say it's better. I wouldn't say it's worse. I would just say it's different. Here are some of the other films by BFI, mainly the John Cassavetes films, Shadows, Faces, A uh, Woman Under the Influence. This is the Blu-ray. And then we have the DVD, some artwork there. Take this out. And it's got some more BFI releases here. I'll just put this back. And that is The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. Woo. So that's it for this video, everyone. Well, what can I say? The Killing of a Chinese Bookie, check it out. I'm pretty sure the whole film is actually up on YouTube. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, definitely buy it, watch it, rent it, do whatever you got to do. But check out this film. Really, really great film. You won't be disappointed. Uh, yeah, John Cassavetes, phenomenal, phenomenal filmmaker. Definitely he's a great filmmaker. He made such films as Gloria, Shadows, a um, whole bunch of films. But he was also an actor, very talented human being. He'll be dearly missed. He passed away in 89 from uh, complications with psoriasis of the liver because he was an alcoholic. Read that on Wikipedia. But um, yeah, uh, I'm going to end this video here by saying thank you all for watching. If you've liked this video, 
comment down below, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't. Because you've been missing out on many cool titles that I've ordered, that I'm waiting for, and a whole bunch of cool stuff that you'll miss out if you're not subscribed. Uh, so I'm waiting on Sidekicks, Freeway, yeah, uh, just a whole bunch of films and many more to come. But anyways, if you have subscribed, thank you all for supporting this channel. I really mean it. You know what? I really appreciate the support from me to you. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I just want to say again, I'm Mike Starr. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all on my next video, folks. Have a good night! And still knowing this, we really care.